When someone who's in a position of authority in auto racing has got a substance abuse problem, why would that sanctioning body continue to hold on to them? NASCAR, even though I don't agree with a lot of what they do, they at least police themselves in public. Who am I talking about? I'm going to tell you in just a minute. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's combined NASCAR, NHRA, and Open Wheel Edition. It's coming down to the wire. If you want a chance to score a pair of three-day passes to the Homestead season finale, click on that banner above. We'll be right there with you. For all the issues that I've disagreed with in NASCAR and its lack of transparency at times, at least when something happens that's this public and involves substance abuse, they do something about it. The NHRA, I've never heard one complaint from a competitor or from a fan about them. Yesterday in the early hours of the morning, Al Unser Jr. was caught again drunk driving. And not just driving, he was flying. They finally got him at 101 miles an hour, twice the legal limit of alcohol in his blood. Ladies and gentlemen, it's too late. The damage is done. They suspended him from race control at IndyCar. You think? They knew he had this problem, and those of us who have inside ties have known it for years. Why has Unser been allowed to continue in race control with IndyCar? Brian Barnhart. The guy who's in charge has made more negative news for IndyCar than any of the racing or the drivers. Well, this time it's a plea to Randy Bernard for racing's sake, for IndyCar's sake, and for anyone Al Unser could have killed. It's time to clean sweep IndyCar's race control. Get somebody in there that knows how to run a team of officials. I've got to agree with Robin Miller, who I don't know. Put Bo Barfield, and I have to give a disclaimer, he's a friend of mine, or Wally Dollenbach Jr. in charge, and let that person run a real race control situation with authority and dignity. This gives all of racing a black eye, and it's time for the madness to stop. For Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com's combined edition, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.